Hi, welcome to part two of CSQ's kitchen to prepare chicken. So we have already prepped our chicken. Um, took it out of the bag, took all its guts out. <laughs> and now we're just gonna sprinkle all of that uh, the some same Texas barbecue, barbecue seasoning. seasoning. And we're gonna sprinkle it on mm -hmm. after we dry the chicken. chicken. Yes. So to just um, dab it. While they're doing that, I'm gonna put, the best thing to do would put some of the seasoning at the bottom. So while they're doing that, I'm gonna go and put the seasoning at the bottom. Just enough we can barely see the bowl. So, after you rub the, ch after you season the chicken, don't touch your eyes. This has pepper and it will burn. A lot. So, Okay, now bring the chicken. Bring the chicken. Go. No, no, no. So we need. So this is the seasoning. And then get your chicken and put it. In the, no, you just. We no, know you put it in the bowl. Then sprinkle it on because you don't want your cutting board to get all messy. There, the chicken has gotten in. It's wrong, right? And then sprinkle it all on the chicken to make it look like a red chicken. Boy. You can use you can use the separate powders, but you're we're just using this one. And then once you're done, you just rub it all, all in. in. You flip the chicken. Let's flip the chicken. Ready? Set. Flip. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, it's on one side. Wait, let me sprinkle some on the back. Some on the back. Guys, there's some on the back. <laughs> nah. This might stain your hands a little, but you can wash them. Sprinkle some more on the back side, Cindy. What? Don't forget the drumsticks. Drumsticks. Get that drumstick. Yeah, get the leg. Okay, now if that's good enough, just smear it back all in. This may feel gross. Or you're gonna wash your hands after. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh, take a shower. And be careful! <laughs> this is very messy. And wash your hands and get out of here. Now we're just gonna flip it over again. Just keep rubbing. Wait, why don't you wash your hands? We have second chicken to do. Keep rubbing it in until it's completely. Mm. The chicken inside. And get a paper, get new paper towels for our cutting board. Oh, let me place it close to the trash. And then once you're done, spread the new towels on the new on the cutting board. And then So now we are going to repeat this for the second chicken. So, so the bottom. Oops. Okay. So and then the bottom. Put the chicken in. In. Back into the bowl. Sprinkle some more seasoning. The season. This. It's seasoned. Oh. What? Cindy, do the honors. It smells good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Doesn't it look like it's we just breathing? Keep rubbing in, rubbing it, in. Everybody, mm. doesn't it look like it's breathing because we're pushing it air. Air. Whatever. Air stuff. Okay, and after it's kind of being a little bit good, flip it. And then it. sprinkle some more seasoning so everything gets even seasoned. Okay, now let's rub it in. Mmm, yummy. It smells so good. And Cindy is currently doing a chicken haul. Yeah. Yeah. If you want a chicken to taste really good, just put your hand under the skin and rub some seasoning mm -hmm. under the, uh, 
the skin. Mm -hmm. The skin's kind of like a blanket, so you just need to rub it under. And if you cut the skin, it yeah, won't it in won't soak in and it won't be perfect. Like, perfect and delicious. And, yeah. So you just don't cut your, so don't cut the skin off. Just keep rubbing it in. So I'm gonna try to find the part where I can reach in. Here's one. Right we here. We have to do it on the other one. Boy, that's tiny. We want to take some off. Wait here. Come on. That's good. That's good. Okay, now we're moving on to this chicken. Yeah. It looks gross, I right? Can't. But after you cook it, mmm, mmm, honey, so good. Mm. We're gonna cut the skin just a little bit. So we can open the hole a little more so we can get that seasoning. What? More seasoning? We want it to taste really, really good. And if you just want to be sure, you can just look inside. If you have like a big opening, and just make sure you have lots of seasoning. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have enough room, like we said, use the scissors and cut it's a bigger Just like hole. a little snip. Because if you cut both big of the skin off, it won't cook as well. Or be as well. So, Cindy, more seasoning. No, it's fine. And once you're done, let this sit in the fridge. For well, about uh, one, or, one or two days, but, if you can. But we have a cookout tomorrow, so we're starting at night. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.